Okay, so I'm going to install a cooling stat on my air conditioning unit. The cooling stat is used to um, turn on fans to cool down the building. So this is the cooling stat here. You see at the bottom it says single pole cooling thermostat for line voltage cooling systems. Not to be confused with a thermostat which is like this. That controls a heater. This controls a cooling system. So the idea is the truck camper air conditioner is either on or off. It doesn't have a temperature setting on it. So uh, for now I'm just going to try putting the cooling stat here which is where the factory um, box is supposed to be and I just checked the box to install the thing and look at the way they wired this from the factory they didn't even connect it inside the box so I am uh, gonna put the wires into the box shut off the power put the wires into the box and then wire in the cooling stat so okay let's uh, get going with it okay so we have our box back up in the ceiling we have our wires all connected the grounds are tied together the whites are tied together this is the incoming side from the breaker panel to the black outgoing to the black that goes into the air conditioner right here here this wire just gets shoved up out of the way this wire here is your thermal couple or temperature sending unit not sure exactly what it does because it doesn't turn the unit on or off here is cold or colder but it is not a thermostat of any sort and this is the cooling stat so now we have to stuff these wires up into this box it's a shallow box but it goes up and in so there's about a inch of uh, space inch and a half inside the wall here that I can shove the wires up into and then put this up into that. So we'll see how this works. Um, this here is the bimetal. It's exposed to the cabin and not the hot air in the roof. And so we'll see what happens. If the thermostat doesn't work well here, then I will just reconnect the wires there and I will maybe install it down here put a box in there and that will allow me to uh, connect it to the wire coming off the breaker panel which is right there one of those wires I'm not sure what easy enough to find so okay um, I'm gonna fish wire then wiring this up and I'll show you the results Okay, we have the cooling stat is wired in, the system is running, it feels nice and cold up here. So we're just waiting for it to cool down a bit and see if the uh, switching works. It's uh, 85 degrees inside and it uh, low. The highest setting is 90 degrees, so as soon as it uh, hits 90 degrees up here, then uh, it'll drop down. So we'll see what happens. Not 100% happy with um, how the cover goes on here. It's, it's a wall mount, not a ceiling mount. So it's possible that that cover with the vibration might be falling off. So I am probably going to just reconnect the wires up inside the box there and then 
moved the cooling stat down to that location. Um, I could also possibly put it in another location, but this here is the easiest one because that's where I can most easily get to the power wire. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, so I'm just going to hang on here for a minute and see if uh, it starts shutting off and on automatically. Alright, you can see that the temperature inside is um, 78 or so, under 80. Right now the cooling stat is set to um, kick off at 90 degrees. Actually it kicks on at 90 degrees. And uh, so we have, uh, I'll just turn it a little bit. So it's just barely at the point where it is cool enough to um, start shutting down the air conditioner. So it does work. It's pretty hot outside. Where's the cover? There. So I will put this back on up here. And, uh, and so it's just barely at that point where it will shut down. So, okay, I am going to um, let it run a little bit longer and uh, just kind of see how it cycles. So there you go. That is installing a thermostat cooling stat to control your uh, RV air conditioning unit. And as I say, I've decided already that I am going to relocate it from the junction box up there on the ceiling down to here. And uh, that should be okay. I don't think there'll be any interference from the door. I'll just mount it to this side a bit, so, okay, there we go.